This is Twit. Matthew in Austria oh. is having problems with his Dell laptop taking Osterreich. a really long time to boot. Oh, no. Thank you, Kim. Hello, Matthew. Good to talk to you. Hello, Leo. Nice to talk to you. Thanks for calling. You listen in Austria, huh? I do. It's via live stream and on your podcast. Well, welcome. I love I love Austria. I uh, was in Vienna about a year ago, and I just had a blast. So, what can I? How did you like it? I love it, and I especially love the soccer tort and very good coffee there. You don't need a heated really? mug in Austria because you're just going to drink it right away. <laughs> no, nobody, that's, that's true. Nobody leaves the coffee sitting in Austria. You just drink. It's too good. So, what can I do for you? Dell is is slowing down, huh? Uh, yeah, unfortunately. I mean, I bought my mother-in-law a Dell Inspiron 17R5721. Um, I put Windows 10 on it. So I bought Windows 10, uh, okay. installed it, run, ran flawlessly, actually, up until one or two months ago. It booted up within 10 seconds or 20 seconds, and right now my mother-in-law has to wait for like five minutes. Five minutes? <laughs> Yeah, there's oh. a black screen and just the just the mouse pointer there. And I was actually checking the forums on Dell. I was checking a Microsoft forum. I was typing in, uh, I was asking Google, and uh, there is actually nothing on the Internet because I have the BIOS uh, updated. I have the, uh, even, even though it's a 250 gigabyte um, hard drive, it's just like, 20% fuller stuff. So, yeah. Uh, so, I, I don't know what, what it could be. I know I know what it could be. And it, it, I'm surprised the internet isn't full of this because it happens all the time. And it's not just Dell. It's every computer. She has a traditional spinning hard drive, the old school hard drive. And uh, there's some... What happens with all hard drives, new or old, is that sometimes sectors are hard to read. The operating system doesn't give up though <laughs> it, i mean it gives up after a while but it will try a few times so what's ha my suspicion is and this is a this is the most common failure of computers uh and spinning drives one of the reasons i like ssds uh it depends how much you like your mother-in-law you might want to i'll tell you you might want to put an ssd in there but what's happening i think is the hard drive some of the sectors are hard to read, and they're unfortunately the sectors that needs to start the system up. So that's why it's taking so long, is it's reading. My suspicion is it's reading. Re it can't get, no, didn't get it. Try again, try again. And if it tries three or four times on every sector, that could take five minutes. Now, there could be other things going on. It's my suspicion it's that because of, you say, it's on the black screen. If it were farther down the road... It is, of course, possible that there's software on there that's hanging it up. Uh, so uh, the other thing to look at is uh, when you first start up the computer, you know you can get into a, a boot menu, a text menu. Yeah. I press the shift, yeah. hold the shift key while it's booting. And one of them is a boot with a boot log. And you can actually see the booting process uh, as it loads. It makes a text file in the root directory, bootlog.txt, and you can read it. It's just a plain text file. So what you could do, if you want a little more diagnostic information before you get a new hard drive, is turn that on, boot it up, and stop the boot process when you're stuck in that black space. And then, you know, okay. reboot, you know, shut it down and reboot it, and then read the boot log. And it'll tell you what the last thing it loaded was. And it could be that there is something there that is hard to load, that is a problem, or it could be that that file's the one that's damaged. You would really improve this Inspiron considerably by going out and buying a solid-state drive. And it depends on how much you want your wife to love you and your mother-in-law. I think for a mother-in-law, 100 bucks for a solid-state drive to speed up boot times to seconds would be worth it. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. It's, it's really great to uh, talk to you. Thank you for uh, calling from Austria. Yeah, f failed hard drives or failing hard drives would f commonly cause that. But you could also have, um, you could also have uh, malware doing it. I mean, there's lots of things that could cause it, but it's my suspicion it's the hard drive. It's just trying to read it. Okay, terrific. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you so, so much. Hey, I appreciate it. Helps. Keep listening. And get an SSD. I will. Yeah. Tell tell mom you really I love her. Will. <laughs> Your wife will be very happy, Matthew. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. 
8888-ASK-LEO. Hey, I really want to thank um, the chat room for coming up with some interesting information about a slow boot. Uh, Uncle Bick in our chat room found an article, uh, and we're going to pass, Matthew, I'm going to put this in the show notes at techguylabs.com, at expertreviews.co.uk, particularly about this Dell Inspiron 17. So there are a few things you might want to look at that I did not mention. For instance, ironically, in Windows 10, there's a fast start option. Uh, they mentioned that on an Acer Aspire V5, disabling Windows 10, disabling Windows 10 fast startup, sp sped up startup, disabling it. <laughs> so there's one thing to do is turn off fast startup to speed up your startup. Now, that's for a particular uh, device. They did mention, interestingly, that graphic drivers on the Inspiron 17 could be problematic. Let me quote, because it describes your problem exactly. Some have theorized the black screen before boot, which is what you were seeing, is a graphics driver problem. Because that Inspiron has a dedicated NVIDIA or AMD graphics card. It has what we call a GPU, a graphics processing unit. Most laptops, most computers, but most laptops especially, use the graphics that the Intel processor and the system on a chip provides. They call it motherboard graphics or Intel HD graphics or that kind of thing. But if you put a, a dedicated card in a laptop, I, I remember my Surface Book had this problem as well, it can make the switch difficult or it can confuse the boot up. So, uh, Expert Reviews suggests disabling the AMD or NVIDIA graphics driver in, on your system, depending on which you have, and restart. And see if that speeds things up. You can do that in the Device Manager. And if it speeds things up, uh, then, then, you've, then you've narrowed it down. And the problem with this, that is, of course, you really want... <laughs> you bought that thing because it had dedicated custom graphics. So you want to make sure, if that is the problem, they say, get the latest drivers, maybe that'll fix it from AMD or NVIDIA instead of maybe from Dell. I don't, I don't know. You know, this is, video driver issues are always, you know, troubling on a, on a PC. And there are generally at least three different drivers you could get, at least with NVIDIA. NVIDIA will have what they call a reference driver on their site. The card manufacturer, NVIDIA doesn't make the cards, other companies do. The card manufacturer will have their driver, and often Windows has its own driver. Microsoft has a driver. And sometimes there are two Microsoft drivers, the WQHL driver, or <laughs> that's the Windows Quality Hardware Lab driver, and a more generic driver. And you <laughs> You might have to try all of them to find the best one. They also say the AMD graphics card has a power saver option. Now, this one's complicated. It requires a registry edit, and I don't want you to have to do that. They say this is a Windows, could be a particularly a Windows 10 issue, and sometimes merely a clean install of Windows 10 will work. I think you want to have the fastest boot up. I still would stand by, put an SSD in, and that, by the way, will give you a clean install of Windows 10. Sometimes an upgrade from Windows 7 or 8 to Windows 10 or any operating system to a newer version can cause problems as well. You have cruft left over from the old version that kind of sticks around and confuses the new version. Uh, but don't get your mother-in-law angry by accidentally deleting her data. Make sure you back that all up So, <laughs> before you do this.